Here we are inside of Figma, we'll be creating a photography website design. So this is the window that we get when we enter Figma and we'll click on new design file. The first thing we want to do is click on new design file and then click here, rename this to portfolio. So we know that we are designing for a portfolio and we'll go to frame we already have some options here but we'll click and drag like that and then we can change the dimensions here so i'll go with 1920 by 1080 and then we can go up here upper right and then click on zoom to fit or we can zoom in and out by pressing and holding control and just scroll up and down to zoom in and out and to move this like that there is a third option three options actually and third one is my favorite so which is by clicking on the mouse wheel click and just move it like that which you use to scroll down and up or you can go to hand tool move it like that or there is a shortcut for it which is h shows here so we'll start by creating a frame so we go to rectangle tool create a frame like that i'll change this to one two five and then we'll select text tool click here type in your text Control a to select and then i'll change the font of this one to poppins make it bold and increase this size to 48 now I'll center align this to the frame, so shift select the frame and then center align this like that. Now we can either create another text or we can duplicate this, so alt click and then move it like that while holding alt and shift to center align this and then double click on it. We can call this home, control A to select. We can reduce the size of this to half to 24 and then I'll move this down to center with the text like that. Now I can duplicate this as well so alt click while holding shift to move it like that and then I want 50 pixels of space so I'll press left arrow key and I can check it by pressing alt, press and hold alt, I want 50 pixels of space and then we can rename this double click to rename call this about duplicate this as well so alt click and drag like that duplicate this I'll call this services duplicate this as well 50 pixels of space we have this nice smart guides I'll call this contact do the same for another one 50 pixels of space double click on this and call this search we can have them closer like that so about 200 pixels And then we can create social media icons. So we'll right click, go to plugins and choose Iconify. Or if you don't see it here, you can just go to plugins, find more plugins and then just type in Iconify here. So click on run and we type in Facebook here. For Facebook icon, go to search icons and I'll pick this one. You can change the colors here if you want to change, but I'll be keeping the main one. So I'll click on import icon. So it comes with the size of 24 by 24. I'll move this here and this is on the back. We'll press on right bracket to move this forward. And then we'll center this as well while holding shift I center it here I'll keep it here for now and then we can 
go back to plugins or right click, go to plugins, iconify, type in Instagram, go to search icons, select Instagram, import icon, and then move this here, type in Twitter, search icons, import this here, move it like that so we can move them forward by pressing right bracket, same for the Instagram one. We can also use Pinterest, so right click, go back to plugins and then choose Pinterest, import icon and repeat the same stuff. Right bracket to move this forward. We can select them all. Let's see what space we are having here. So 33. We can keep them at 30. We can just select them all. Control Z to undo this. Select them all. These are having 33% of space. We can change this 33 to 50. Or actually 30. We can keep it at 30. Like that. We need one more icon. We'll go to plugins, iconify. We'll type in search. And then we'll have this one imported and I'll just keep this one closer so bring this forward by pressing right brackets I'll bring this closer I'll go to the search icon and change this to italic so we have a little bit of variation now to align this we can click on frame here we can turn on the layout grid click on this plus icon go here change this to columns we can change this to 12 and we want a margin of 50 so we can align this better we'll select this ones ctrl g to group them together and we can double click on this, call this social media icons. And now we can align this, select them and just align them here. If you want to align them precisely. Same for this ones, we'll select them all while holding shift and we can align them here. Looking neat, we can turn this off now, so we'll click on frame and then turn this off for now. We'll click on the frame, go to fill settings and then I'll be using this color. We can always change the color later. You can copy this if you want to follow along so this is the color that i'll be using actually this ones have 200 pixels of space here so we want the same for this side as well we'll select all the things here and then move it so that they have 200 pixels equal space now we can select everything here that we have ctrl g to group them together and then just double click on it, call this header. Next we want to create two boxes here, so we'll go to rectangle tool, create a shape, we can change the dimensions to 1920 by 1080, divided by 2, and we'll move this here while holding shift, alt click, hold shift, drag this, 
we want a space of 50 so we'll hold shift and press left arrow key so now we have 50 pixels of space now we can go to frame here turn this grid on we want to align this together so we'll select the first one select the second shape and then go to move tool click here go to scale tool and we'll align this like that scale tool helps us align them proportionally now we'll go back to frame and we can go to move tool turn this off now we want to go to this very first one right click go to plugins and search for unsplash so if you don't see it here go to find more plugins and just type in unsplash run the plugin and we can go to search here type in man with camera go to search and just search for a photo so i'll probably be using this one click on it and then it imports to the rectangle that we have and now we can go to this one we'll we want to select this color so we can go to fill and then choose eyedropper tool and just click onto this color so we have this same color select the text that we have here and just move it here we can press right bracket to move this forward but we have to take this out of the frame here and then we can double click on this call this about me we can drop the size a little so about 40 we can center this to this one so shift select the other one center this and we can go to text tool create a frame like that and then we can right click go to plugins find more plugins we can type in lorem ipsum so that we can create random text we can choose this one change this to two select type tool create a frame like that we can update it and we can control a to select everything drop the size to 20 we can select them all and then center align this like that we'll align this center to this one drag this up let's see the spacing between those we can have it at 30 and we can change this to regular so we create a placeholder text and then we can create a call to action we can select this and duplicate this let's see if we have this space evenly so we can change this to let's chat I'll change the color of this one to white reduce the size of it to about 32 we might change it so now we want to create a button so we'll go to rectangle tool and just create a button like that change this to black but it doesn't have to be pure black so and we can move this backwards and center align this so we'll align horizontally and vertically 
to the center. Now we can select both of this and then we can reduce the size of this even more to about 24. Center align them again, looking fine. And now we can select both of them, shift select the other one, Control G to group them and just double click on this, call this button. So I'll click on zoom to fit. Now we want to make the space between this even, so we'll check them out. I'll click to check 30 and this one between these ones is 11. So we'll select this, reduce the size of the frame. We can even delete this one. And we can reduce the size of this. So now we can select the button and we can move this up. So we have equal spacing. We can select all of them inside the rectangle that we have here. Ctrl G to group them together and we can call this about me text. Now we can shift select the rectangle and we can align this horizontally and vertically. Now select everything here. Ctrl G to group this together. Call it about me. And we can make the space between this by 100. So we'll move this up 100. It is. I actually want to change the photo of the left side because it doesn't quite match with this colors. So I'll click on this, right click, go to plugins, back to unsplash, type in man with camera and just search for your photo. So I'll be using this one and now we can go to frame, drag this down so we have more space to work on. We'll select rectangle tool and just drop a rectangle like that. Now we can duplicate this by alt clicking and then drag. Leave it like that. Now we'll select this one, go to fill, pick eyedropper tool and just pick the same color that we have here. And for this one we'll right click, go to plugins, unsplash, Type in photography and just import placeholder images for demonstration purposes. So I'll be using this one, duplicate this by pressing Alt, click and drag, go back to plugins, unsplash. Now we can change the photo. We can always change them later, so I'll just quickly select some photos and we can go back to frame, drag this down, go to frame again, we can turn this on, our grids, so we can select this three, three of this and we can press K for scale tool and we can align this to the grids proportionally scale them let's see if we zoom in so we might have to select them again do it from the scratch so here we are trying to align same for this one We can turn this off now, select the frame, press V for move tool and we can just turn this off. So now we can either type in our text or copy once from here. So I'll select this one, alt click and drag, move this here, change the 
size of it to 36 and I'll be using semi volt for this one and call this service pack one we can center this to the photo here duplicate it by alt clicking center line here and do the same for the third one we can change this to two and this one goes by three we can copy this text now so double click on it to select the whole thing alt click and drag move it here now we can make this smaller by just dragging like that so we can remove some text here we can give it some space here so double click on this and then just center align this to this one so we can do the same duplicate this center align to each one of them center align this all now we can just select each one of this and pull them up so we have our own service pack tax now we can duplicate this put this down let's see if there's the three align so I'll just drag this down keep it here I'll have this at 20 same and for this one I'll change it to 24 I'll use bolt and center align here we can call this double click on it call it starting price $100 and just do the same with the other ones let's see if I align this properly do the same for the other ones so we have our service pack we can always change this photos and we can select them all make sure that we have a space of 100 here we can change this one to 200 and the other one to 300 next i'll go back to frame and then just drag this down so that we have more space to work on i'll click on rectangle tool and just draw a frame like that I'll have this at 730 and now we can add another frame or before that we'll just select this click on it go to fill and pick the eyedropper tool pick the same color from here so that we have the same colors and now we can create another frame go to rectangle tool and just draw a shape like that we can turn on go to frame turn on the grids that we have and we can align this here we can turn it off now and now i want to ctrl z to undo if you make any type of mistake i want to change the color of this to white we can select this text alt click and drag here so you can either press right bracket to move this 
to the front or if it doesn't work you can just move this from here to up here or you can right click and choose bring to front we'll change this to let's work together and now we can align the horizontal centers so I'll select one of the text here alt click to duplicate put this to the center and just press right bracket or as I said right click here and choose bring to front now we can add this button again so I'll just alt click and duplicate this align this to the center right bracket or we can move this up so the space between those let's see if you can make them equal so 42 42 we can select the three of those and it says here that we have 42 we can change this to about 30 let's go with 30 we can select this three and make sure that we center align them horizontally now we can go back to rectangle tool or actually select the frame turn on the grids that we have and then we can draw another frame like that we align it there so i'll move this up to align with this one turn this off go to frame turn this off and we can duplicate this ctrl d to duplicate by holding alt and shift we make a smaller one and then we can change the color of this to white so i'll pick the eyedropper tool pick a white color from here right click go to plugins unsplash we can add a photo and remember that I'm only using this for demonstration purposes. I'll have this here. I'll turn on the grids again, go to frame, turn on the grids. I'll select this. Three. And just align this here as well. This one is also aligned. So I'll turn this off now I can create another frame select rectangle tool and we can create a frame like that we'll send this to back here right click select it right click go to unsplash photography and just add another photo so let's see I can add this one and it's looking just fine we can select everything here and just align with us all so make sure that we have a space of 100 so i went ahead and changed the photo here again we can keep on going we want to create a slider next so we'll copy a text from here alt click and drag move this here we can align horizontally and we can call this what my clients are saying align this horizontally again and now we can copy a text from here we can copy this one alt click and drag align this horizontally as well i need to pull this out of the frame so i'll pull this up here align this horizontally move this up and now we can create some type of 
sliders here, so right click, go to plugins, iconify, type in arrow, and we can choose this one comes with 24 by 24 so it imports it up here as always I'll move this down here so I'll pull this up as well press right bracket to pull this bring this to bring this forward we can scale this up if you want to so 40 by 40 and we can align this center align to this one so align vertical centers I'll click on this I'll turn on the grids move this select this and just move this here so that it aligns and then we can duplicate this so alt click and duplicate this move it here right click and just flip horizontal or there is a shortcut for it you can press shift plus H zoom in and align this here you can turn off the grids now select all of this and just now we can align this according to the other ones next we'll create a footer so we'll select the frame and just pull this down a little more so we have space to work on and then select rectangle tool draw a shape like that we can go to fill I drop a tool and pick this color so I'll duplicate this put this here and press right bracket or you can right click and choose bring to front I'll type in follow me you can type in your text and align this here horizontally now we want to create five more frames here so we can just create a shape like that and then just duplicate each one of them alt click while holding shift duplicate them and if they are not fitting to this we can select the five of them and then just press K or go to here move tool and select scale tool we can actually turn on the grids so I'll select move tool go to frame turn on the grids select the five of them go to move to scale tool here and we can align them proportionally something like that I actually want to align this one here now we can turn off the grid so go to move tool and just select the frame turn off the grid we can add photos here so right click go to plugins unsplash photography and add your photos so I'll move this down here like that so now we can select the frame and just pull this down some more and we can go up here select the social media icons that we have select them alt click and drag and move this down we can align this horizontally to the center we'll select the menu 
items. Alt click and move them down. Down here. So we can select each one of this and we'll pull this up here. Press right bracket so they are up above. Same for social media icons that we have. We pulled them out of the frame that we have here. So pull this up and just press right bracket or you can right click, choose bring to front. Now we'll pull this closer and we can select them all, go to up here and click on tidy up so they have equal spacing. 50 is fine, but if you want more you can change it to 100 or whatever. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo because 50 is just fine. We'll group this together, select this, shift select each one of this and then Ctrl G to group them, call it menu. We can shift select the icons and we'll align the vertical centers of these ones. Now we can, I'll just copy one of the text from here. So I'll put this. I'll leave this here for now. I'll pull this out of the menu, move this here, and I'll change the change this one to medium. I can even drop the opacity a little to 80. Same for this ones. Not sure if I drop the opacity of these ones. I'll drop this to 80 and I'll change the I want to create a copyright text we can turn on select the frame Turn on the grids, we can align this all together now. Move this, I can move this here actually. Select the menu items and move this here. Well, I can just, we can make this space equal. So I can move this here and for this ones. We can select this all and just align them, make it a hundred. Same for this ones. Make them hundred. Each one. So we'll select the frame and just decrease the size of this since we are done designing our website. Okay, now we can group them all together because it's kind of complicated here. So we can select all of this, Ctrl G to group, call it about me so that you know, or you can call it whatever you want. We'll select the third row here, Ctrl G to group them call it service package we can pull this down select the fourth row control G rename it move this down select this one repeat the same step basically control G So this is what it looks like in the end. I'll go ahead and do the last adjustments. 
I drag this while holding shift, click and drag, align this. And this one is not in the center, so I go ahead and center this. Now we can select this and just align them equally. Close this groups. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.